Welcome to Children's Time. You can see that I'm in my office. This is where I work at church. This is one of the things that I do with my time. I am in this room with a desk and some books and a phone, and I can do some work. Do you know what it means to work? Well, if you go to school or you do chores, you know what it means to work. If you are in a sport or do some other kind of hobby, you know it takes effort. A lot of times we need to use our minds. A lot of times we need to use our bodies. When we work, we work to accomplish something. We want to do something. Now, the Bible does talk about work a lot. Listen to the verse that Paul wrote in a letter to some people called the Ephesians. They were from a country called Ephesus. This is Ephesians 6, verse 7. Work with enthusiasm, as though you are working for the Lord rather than for people. We are to work wholeheartedly. We are to give all we've got to accomplish what it is that we're working on. Now, does that mean when we're memorizing scripture and praying and doing all the things that are spiritual disciplines? It can, but it also means when you are playing some kind of sport and you are doing all you can to do well you practice you don't just pretend to play you try and you listen to the coach and you learn you find out what the rules are and the techniques are and how to hold a bat how about if you are really in school and you're trying really hard with some of your lessons well you might have heard of a man named Albert Einstein. He had crazy white hair like this. When he was a boy, Albert didn't know how to do very well in school. In fact, his teachers didn't think that he was going to do very well in life. He did not do good in his grades. But you know what? He had a very smart mind. And little by little, people started to call him a genius. He had been working so hard. And because God had given him a special kind of mind, he was able to do amazing things to help people understand, especially math and science. Now, let's take this home. How about you? How about you? When you're working on things, and let's say you're trying to build something, and it's just not working, what do you do? Well, you can say, God, I need your help in working with this. And he does. You may be having trouble with math or spelling or getting along with friends or feeling lonely and not knowing how to make a friend. All of those types of things, God is near you and he can encourage your heart. All you have to do is ask him. And when we work, we work wholeheartedly. We work for him and not for people. Try it this time. When your mom or your dad asks you to do a chore, and if you do it for God instead of for them, wouldn't that change things? If you knew that you were pleasing God in obeying your parents, wouldn't that give you an extra boost to do your best? I think it will. And it reminds us not to be lazy or disrespectful. It reminds us that we need to do our part and do it well. Let me read the scripture one more time. This is Ephesians 6 verse 7. Work with enthusiasm as though you are working for the Lord rather than people. So when we have an opportunity to do our homework, we know that it will be in our best interest to do it well. When we're doing our chores, when we're playing sports, all of those things where we need to work hard, let's do it with enthusiasm as if for the Lord. It will please him and those that we are joined with. Let's pray. Father, thank you for reminding us the importance of work. Thank you that we can work with enthusiasm for you and not worry about what other people think. We want to honor those who are in authority, teachers and parents, and policemen, we thank you for them, and we thank you for people who give others jobs. 
We ask that you would bless all the people who call themselves a boss and that they would be able to be generous in taking care of their employees. And in turn, may those employees do their very best. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week and remember that God loves you no matter where you go, no matter who you are. See you next time.